Well, good morning. Happy Thursday. Um, so I thought that I would take you guys along for a day in my life teaching. So welcome. My name is Kate. I am a high school math teacher currently in my 17th year of teaching. And um, as I said, I'm going to take you guys along for a day in my life. Today is one of our blue days. And so I'm going to see uh, my geometry class first and then my pre-calculus class. And then I will have my plan period. Within my plan period, I have a period. PLC meeting as well, and then finishing out the day with my other, another of one of my four geometry classes, and then we have impact period, which is sort of like a homeroom-ish type period. So the kids are going to come in in about three minutes, and I still have to get a few things set up for them to get their lesson started. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll talk to you later. So I'm just going to show you guys, I always have this start slide up for the kids so we can see over here the things that they need to do right away. Still trying to train some of my geometry kids to actually read this and make sure they have those things done before we need them. And then we put our I can statements and then I always put a meme of the day. So there's that one there. And then I put the today. So really the today and the I can are kind of the same thing. However, um, you know, this also helps me remember if we're doing a quiz or if there's something I need to talk to them about, I put that in the today too. And then I have their upcoming tests. Okay, so we are going to work on the review for our test. Our test is going to be the next time I see you guys, which is on Tuesday. So we're gonna do this round robin stations review. And you guys are going to get one of these answer sheets right here. So don't need your own paper, which is why it didn't say that up there. So the way that this is gonna work is you guys are gonna be given um, I'd say seven and a half minutes, that should be good. Um, seven and a half minutes at each station so each station covers a different topic so station one or table one is looking at exponents two radicals three we're rationalizing four factoring factor by grouping and so on so all the different standards that you guys are going to see on your test so the way that this is going to work work with your team whatever table you're starting at make sure you start on that spot on your answer sheet here do the problems, do as many as you can. And then the nice thing is that I have the answers on the back for you guys. So you guys can check your answers and see how well you're doing. When the timer goes off, then you guys are gonna just get up and you're gonna move to the next station. It's okay if you don't finish. I'm not expecting you to necessarily get all of them done for every station in seven and a half minutes. So, any questions? All right, so go ahead and pick up the answer sheet that's up there and we will get started. So I just added these labels above my absent work folder, classwork, homework, hoping that that will help the students. I do have it labeled on each of these files as well. So the goal is when students are absent, they will come over here and they'll know, oh, I missed Tuesday, looking at the calendar on Canvas and realizing they did miss classwork 1.6 and homework 1.6 so they can grab the classwork, the notes and the homework 1.6. Once we get into unit two or unit three, that's why I left this blank. So it'll start over in unit two, it'll be 2.1, you 2.2 know, and so on. So I can keep reusing this over and over. So added those up thanks to my Cricut Joy and the Smart Vinyl made that a fairly easy project. So that's what I've got. Um, I've got a few other things that I need to work on before I have my PLC meeting today. So I've been on my prep for just a little while now. Um, when I, the last clip with me hanging up the classwork homework stuff, that was the start of that prep. So I've got about five minutes before I have to go over to my PLC meeting and then I'll, hopefully that should only last 30 minutes and then I can come back and keep working on stuff. Um, 
on prep. So I'm going to, I've got my planner here. I'm gonna work on filling in what I'm doing today and make sure that I know everything that I need to get done before tomorrow, so. All right, so I'm back from my meeting. I've got about 20 minutes before lunch starts, so I've got 20 minutes left in my prep period. Um, so we have two different types of PLCs at our school. So one of our PLCs is with the math department, and our other PLC is with what we call our schools of study. So the high school that I teach at has these different schools of study where we're breaking our kids up into more like a college-ish situation where, um, depending on what they're interested in majoring in in college or doing after high school, they're put into one of these different schools of study. So we have an engineering technology building, we have our school of study, we have a health and public safety, we have natural resources, business, human services, and arts and communications. And I'm in the arts and communications school of study. So that's our other PLC meeting, our PLC group that we have. So everybody that has a common prep on Thursdays is when we meet. So I have prep over the third hour period or lunch period. So I met with all the other teachers that have prep this time and our principal, it's time for her to give us information. Um, so kind of like a faculty meeting, but a little bit smaller. So we just talked about some new things that we're doing. We talked about um, our goals that we need for our evaluations. Um, we're gonna be starting this new intervention program, I guess we could call it. So I will be every Wednesday and Friday having to go to a different room during our impact period, like our homeroom period at the end of the day. And I am going to be working with kids that need math help. So it should be interesting. Um, they did cap it at 11 kids, which is good because really helping any more than that with the 25 minutes that we have is not gonna work real well. So we'll see that starts on Tuesday, but hopefully it'll help those kids that are struggling in math. I'm gonna um, get back to work. Got a few more things to get done before my lunch. And then I have one more geometry class today and then my impact period. All right, quick shot of my lunch, leftovers from dinner last night. So I'm gonna eat real quick and then try to get a few more things done before the end of lunch, which is 30 minutes. So we should be, we're gonna have, hopefully all of these people that are absent will be coming back. They're supposed to come back a little while ago. They were stuck outside during the storm drill. So, what? you know, natural selection. Dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, so what you guys are gonna do, and when they come in, we'll they'll get. They, it's okay. You you all thought it too. Don't tell me you didn't. <laughs> I mean, if it was, you're like, but that's my friend out there. So this is how the scavenger hunt works. You guys are going to with your team, and. Hopefully the rest of our team's people will come. If you really are by yourself and nobody shows up, I will move you to a group. I promise you're not working by yourself. I'm not that mean. Not yet. Mean Dean. Mean Dean. Mean Dean. The way you guys are going to work, this is a scavenger hunt. And so with a scavenger hunt, you're going to go from one thing to another to another and work away your rest. You guys are going to get an answer sheet that looks like this. That is this, because this is your answer sheet. And as a team, you are going to start at one of the 12 stations. So station A is on the door, and then there's B. Okay. So you're going to start anywhere. It doesn't matter where you start. So I'm just going to say, let's pretend we started at D. So wherever you start first, on the first circle, you are going to put the letter that your team started on. So I started on D. Now when we look at the scavenger hunt, it tells you graph triangle GHI with, and it gives you the points, and its image after a reflection along the y-axis. So we're going to do two things on our graph. We're going to graph this triangle GHI, one graph. And then we're going to graph its image, two graphs. So we're going to have two graphs on each and every one of our bless you, coordinate planes. Okay? And you're not just going to plot the points. So you're going to plot your points and let's just say that this is what your triangle should look like. And here and here we're going to use our ID, right? I'm just freehanding it just to give you guys the idea. And then we're going to label it G, H, and I. 
And then it tells us to make a reflection along the y-axis. So then I'm going to do that. I'm not actually paying attention. I'm just putting random dots so we can just talk about this. Okay. So then here's my new one. So I drew my lines. What am I missing? Labels. The labels and the prime. And the prime. So G prime, H prime, I prime. Then at the bottom, it asks a question. This one, what are the coordinates of H prime? So I'm going to look and figure out the coordinates of H prime. Then what I need to do is I need to wander around. You're going to send, you can send like a runner or a scout out from your team. Okay, so that was the answer that I got. Then I know the next card that I'm going to move to negative one, negative one. So the next card that I would do would be C. So then I would put C here. And if the answer to C led me to G, then we're going to do G next. Where should the answer to J lead me? The one where you started at. Yeah, the one that I started and I started it with me. All right, so pick up or send somebody to pick up the classwork paper and then I want you guys to get started. All right, so it is 4.55. I um, was planning on getting some work done. My son has practice until 5.30, so I typically stay after work, try to get things done. However, today I just um, socialized with other teachers, so I accomplished really not a whole lot. Um, I did get some of the projects graded for geometry, but I have a ton of projects still to grade. So I still have to grade all of these. So I got one class set done, but I got a lot to go. Um, but you know, that's going to be a future me problem. So hopefully I'll get some of that stuff done tomorrow. But um, like I said, it's about five o'clock. So I am going to start packing up and head out to pick up my son. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in a life. And if you um, are interested in following along with my teaching journey, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you later. Bye.